stories that go on inside everybody's head and nobody understands it but you. The voices that tell you I'm not good enough or I don't deserve this. When you find out enough is enough, what do you do to move forward? Over the past few years I've learned a lot to try and calm the voices which self-sabotage and cause the shit inside your head. When does it come to the time when you say enough's enough, I'm sick of feeling the way I feel, I'm not supposed to be told what to do, how to do it, how I should have done this. What do you do to really move forward? The simplicity of it is you've got to tell the fucking truth. How do you stay motivated? And how do you stop falling off the wagon? If I knew the answer to that fully, I would be a fucking millionaire, right? Because that's what everyone wants. Here's the pill, here's the potion. Stop, stay motivated, never fall off, never cheat on your diet, never have too much drink. Just stay on, train every day, love your life, right? Unfortunately, there's no quick pill, there's no quick answer. But I do have a few things that will hugely help that fact, okay? There's nobody in the world who can proclaim they found the secret because it all depends on your head and how willing you are to be a little bit more open-minded. So, everyone always wants to know when they start a new regime. Let's take weight loss fitness as an example. That's what my forte is, right? Okay, so let's take that as an example, right? What do I need to do to lose weight? How do I do it? Show me. Give me the plan. Give me the recipe book. Show me what exercise to do and I'll do them. Well, you've all got Google, right? You can find that out on your phone in 10 minutes find out a diet plan, you can find out a training regime, but you'll not go and do it. Because everyone keeps saying to me, I need the motivation, I'm losing motivation, I need the motivation to change, I need the motivation to keep going, I need the motivation, the motivation. The motivation is not in the what and it's not in the how. There's two things that it is in though. The motivation is in the why. Why do you want to do it? What difference will it make in your life? What difference will it make in the lives of those around you? Why is it important to you that you change and you take up this task, whatever it is, whether it's that new job, whether it's losing weight, whatever, why is it important? Let's do a little role play right now. Hypothetically, this is Sarah. <coughs> Sarah needs to lose weight. Sarah, why do you need to lose weight? <coughs> well, Luke, in all honesty, like, it's just a nightmare getting into clothes on a morning. I'm sick of struggling, I'm sick of looking in the mirror and hating what I see, I just can't, I just can't move, I feel terrible in my clothes, I'm going into work and not feeling confident. And I honestly feel if I was a bit more confident, maybe I'd go for that promotion that I really wanted to, but right now I just don't feel like me, I feel in somebody else's body. Alright, right, okay, so Sarah, what difference would it make if you were, say, down two dress sizes, for example? And she'll say, well, Luke, it would make a huge difference because if I'm being really honest here, I've been making excuses to all my friends as to and my family as to why I can't go out because everything I've tried on has been a nightmare and my social life's suffering and I just don't feel like me. I've got nothing to look forward to. I'm not excited anymore. I don't have much of a life. I just do for other people. So I'm like, okay, Sarah, so do you think that it would improve your self-esteem, your confidence, and you could possibly earn more money from doing that? Yeah, Luke, I think that's right. Come and see how the why is so much more important to dig deep and answer those questions. Why do you want to do it? What difference will it make? Because everyone in the room, I think, wants to have a better body. I want to have a better body, right? You see my videos, I'm not in too bad shape, but even I say the same thing, like, I pick. I pick, I'm like, well, I could do better there. I could lift more there, I could do that better. I could do that better. It's a natural human instinct, right? Everyone wants to do it, but what difference will it make? Why? What's the point? Let's take Joe. Example, Joe needs to lose his beer gut, right? So Joe, why do you want to lose weight, mate? He says, well, Luke, to be honest, I've been struggling getting me clothes for a while, but I noticed it the other day when I was running up the stairs after the kids, and I, I was out of breath. I felt a bit shit on myself, to be honest. I, I really want to get that energy back to be able to run after the kids more. And I say, right, Joe, so how does it make you feel as a father, like, being out of breath? What, what else does it make you do? And he's like, well, to be honest, I don't feel as good a role model as what I should. I think." You know, I would improve as a parent if I did that. And um, in all honesty, like, I've been making up excuses because I'm too tired and I don't really want to take the bear out on that. All right, so it would make you feel a better father, shall we say? Yeah, maybe it would. 
So tell me again. Tell me, Joe, why is it that you want to really increase the energy and say you've, 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 you know, the relationship with your son's got better? Why is it that you really want to really, really improve your energy and, and feel better in your clothes? And Joe would probably go on to say something like, well, because of this belly, I've been crapping myself over future health risks. You know, I've been the, the doctor has told us I'm gonna I'll be, be on my way for diabetes if I don't change. And if I'm honest, really, me and the wife haven't had sex for a lot of months because I just haven't been bothered. And to be honest, I don't really want to take my shirt off. So come and see why it's important that Joe loses weight. It's everything in your lifestyle which you're meant to have and is meant to be happy to you. And meant to be an issue for you. It's not just about losing weight, it's about so much more. You can apply this to why do you want to earn more money? Well, it just would be nice. I can have a couple more holidays. No, what would it mean? It would mean that you can stop overthinking and getting anxiety over money worries and constantly checking your online bank and thinking shit, 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 shit. I've lived like that for years. Shit, shit, shit. So what do I need to do? I need to do something about it. I need to change the way I think. Push forward a little bit more to earn more money. Pour a little bit more out there. Sell some more stuff. Talk to more people. Ring some more people up. Cold call if necessary. Whatever. You find a way to do what's important. You'll always find a way to do what's important. And the thing is, the next fix, the next fix, will never come. It might give you that temporary release, but it'll never give you that long-term satisfaction. It'll never give you true fulfillment. So, you've got what to do, you've got how to do it, and you've got why you should do it. You're primed and ready, right? Fucking take on the world! I've got it, yes. Why do you still fall off the wagon? Even though you know it's important. You know, right, you know. It's important, but I know, I know I should be having sex more with me wife. I know I should be doing better for the kids. I know I should really do something about this as you're patting the belly and eating your sandwich. It happens, right? We've all done it, we've all done it. We've all said I really should eat better while you're eating a fucking takeaway. <laughs> it happens, right? We can all relate to that. So you've done those three things, what's missing? Who? Who? Not who you hang around with, but who you are. See, everybody thinks it's about what we've got to do. If I do more, I'll have more, right? Which technically, in a way, is true. If I do more exercise, I'll, I'll lose more weight. But it's not about what we've got to do. It's nothing to do majorly with what we've got to do. That plays a small part in it. It's about who you've got to become. It's about who you've got to become. I am a different person than what I was two years ago. I'm a different person than what I was six months ago. Because I've opened up my mind to new possibilities and I kept telling the same stories that everybody else tells. Like, I don't have time. It's not for me, I can't do this. Self-sabotage, crap talk, not telling yourself the right things. But it's who you have to become. You have to change the way you think.